Hi, this is Amber with Capital Chaos. Here with me is Corey Patman from Norma Jean. How are you? Doing good. I am so excited to meet with you today, man. How are you feeling to be in Sacramento? I'm really excited. We've been excited to get to California this whole tour. We just came out of northern cities like Salt Lake City or um, Boise or whatever. It's a lot colder, so the weather's mm -hmm. great. I'm really excited to be here. And you guys are heading to Vegas tomorrow? Yes, Vegas and then Anaheim, end of tour. Okay, and then are you guys going to take a break for the rest of the year? Or do you have anything else planned for 2012? We, we are, we've been riding for about a year and a half, so we're going to continue to ride. Um, for the month of November and then we're in the studio December January um, recording a new record okay so that's what I wanted to ask about the last one was out 2010 you guys integrated some different sounds one of my favorite one was deathbed atheist where you did a little bit of electronica are you guys gonna take more of a dubstep approach is that something you want to go for no I mean really what when we when we were recording that record we had access to two studios mm -hmm. at the time so we were recording in one and then the rest of the guys when they were just in downtime, we would bounce all the all the songs somewhat mixed to the other studio um, in the building, and then they would just mess around and throw stuff on there. And there was there's some keyboards and stuff on there, but I wouldn't call it like you know full on electronic music no. or anything. But uh, again, I mean, then again, we're not opposed to it. Uh, our style of electronic music that we're fans of is more like Nine Inch Nails yes. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Not really into the dubstep thing, but not, no respect to those artists, of course. Are you a fan of Skrillex? Uh, he's actually a really good friend of mine, That's and awesome. of course I'm a fan of it, of, of Skrillex. Sonny mm -hmm. is an awesome dude, and I'm really proud of him. It would be really neat to see you guys uh, collaborate and do a song together. It could happen. We've done remixes, like mm -hmm. dubstep remixes. We've, you know, friends or someone that's a fan, like, yeah, go ahead, do, do a remix. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, any kind of music like that, collaborations, I think, I think are awesome. Yes, they are. So let's talk a little about YouTube. Um, I was looking at the Deathbed Atheist, and there's like 820 comments, and that's just on one of your guys' video. Do bands pay attention to all those comments and what people say? No. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like, I'm, I'm just wondering, what's the percentage of positive versus negative? Because you're always going to be open interpretation. Uh, exactly. That's exactly what I was going to say, is that we view music as an art form, 100%. And just as I can look at a painting and see something different um, than you would see, and that's how music is supposed to be, too, I think. It, it will be interpreted differently by others, and that's kind of what's beautiful about it I think mm -hmm. is that even lyrically you um, you know you could take lyrics and, and apply them to however you want and we we embrace that and we encourage it mm -hmm. so um, let them talk right. and and negative positive at least they're talking about it and I, I can assure you that it is positive <laughs> yeah, no, you're right you're right and so over the years you guys have changed styles a little bit had some lineup changes what do you think is the one element that keeps Norma Jean together and keeps these fans sticking around for the years and years to come I don't know I it to us it's we view we view Norma Jean as a collaborative uh, or a, a collective um, we like to bring other people in to write with us, not just a guest vocalist mm -hmm. or something. Someone that will come in and actually write a song with us, start to finish, and and as a sixth member or whatever. So we've done that a lot. We did it with Chino Marino on on the Anti Mother, Paige Hamilton from Helmet on the Anti Mother, mm -hmm. um, a bunch of guys. We kind of see ourselves that way too. When we work together, it all ideas are on the table, and okay. that's what we are that's what Norma Jean is and that's why the fans love you so much is because you guys are keeping it real and the music just speaks to in volumes I don't know how to describe it you just need to come to a show <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about personal stuff um, do you follow the presidential election do you vote yes and yes okay who are you gonna go for or do you not want to discuss that I I'm not really <laughs> gonna say I'm not really gonna say I mean I, I think everyone should pay attention though I think it's really important um, that people Pay very close attention and, and make up your minds and make a an educated decision on and that. And so you are encouraging people to vote because yeah. it okay. definitely, but not if you're not paying attention. True. If you have no idea what's going on and what these people stand for, just stay at home. It's always Honestly, good to do your research when you're making just blindly vote. Don't. It's yes. retarded. So, are you religious or spiritual? I'm. Neither, I, I, but I do believe in God. Mm -hmm. I believe in creation. I believe in Jesus. Okay, so how do you stay in tune with that part of you while you're on tour and you're seeing all this craziness? Really, 
I, it's pretty simple to me. It's just prayer. I mean, that's mm -hmm. that's how I came to know God was just personal prayer through myself. You know, no one convinced me of anything. It was literally me and my life and praying. And I think that's the most powerful thing in the world. And and for for people who don't want to pray, you know, positive thinking too is another mm -hmm. part of that. Um, and positive action, yes. not just thinking something positive or saying something positive or post something positive on Facebook. None of that stuff works. Yeah. You know, actually doing something and, and action speaks louder than words. You are so, so right, man. I wish everybody knew that. But yeah. sometimes people figure yeah, it out. I learned the hard way. Yeah. yeah. I learned the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you? I'm... Mm. <laughs> He's the same age as me, 23. Yeah. <laughs> so this year you guys have been touring a lot. Have there been any crazy stories or anything you want to share with fans that you've seen along the way that just blew your mind? This is such the hardest question because... Because <laughs> you have so many? Well, no, because the craziest stuff happens when you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> You just remember the day after the crazy right? stuff. And you go through like, your phone like, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, we spent a lot of time in Europe this year and we, we had a blast. Um, and uh, the beginning of the year, we shared a bus with the Chariot and Dead and Divine, um, all three of us on one bus. And that was just ridiculous every night. Wow. We had a really great time. I bet. But crazy stories, I, I don't, I mean, come to a show. That's the craziest story <laughs> I got. All right. So any ideas on who you guys are going to tour with next year? Um, no, not really. We, we know we want to do, um, we know we're going to be in Australia in May. Um, we will be doing support tours up until then. Oh, water bottle. Got it. Man down. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and new record out late spring, early summer, okay. hopefully, and uh, maybe a, a, a summer festival tour and then a headliner after that. All right, so we're going to keep an eye out for you. I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to meet with Capital Chaos. We're big fans of Norma Jean. We love what you do. Please keep making music. If you want to go ahead and just say anything you'd like to your fans, let them know what's going on with you, and here's your time to just have your message. Sure. Buy records, support music, support the music you love. Don't just take it for free. That's my message. Yes, because we all need to eat. All right, and this is Capital Chaos, and we're out. Thank you.